Greetings from Eastern Nigeria, Omochuku. Another update for this Sunday. Release Namdekan now. Clark tells Buhari. That is Chief Edwin Clark. He is a South South leader and also the leader of the Southern and Middle Bet Leaders Forum, SMPLF. Said President Buhari should obey the court rulings, obey court rulings, including those delivered on the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazinam Dekano, by releasing Onyendo himself. That's what the EK clerk is saying. Tell him Buhari, say Buhari, what legacy are you leaving behind? What legacy? As a president, civilian, you have ruled as a military. When almost uh, Tunde the Diabo, I think yes, was there, you know, doing everything for you. That's why the only regime in Nigeria that has uh, two persons as uh, almost the head of state is Buhari regime. Buhari Diabo. So, Ike Clark is saying to Buhari, "What legacy are you leaving behind as a civilian president?" In your military era, it was not only you, it was a joint something between you and the Diablo. Then now you are the one as a civilian president. What legacy? Legacy of abracadabra, impunity. The president of Nigeria, as it stands today, who said he's the president, the man has legal legalized rascality. That is why. Anybody who weeps for Nigeria is supposed to be, you know, you know, or who doesn't weep for Nigeria doesn't know what he's doing. Any person who doesn't weep for this country, you don't know what you're doing. You're supposed to weep for Nigeria. Better have one. They deserve that. They deserve that. They're in trouble. Because the incoming administration will leverage on that rascality this one has created already. That is it. The level of impunity in this administration is too humongous. The avalanche is not here. They are into, you know, executive rascality. They do whatever they like. Nobody coughs. Nobody. Nobody. If you want to riot, they'll stop you. If you want to demonstrate, they'll stop you. If you want to, you know, strike they stop you if you want to go in industrial action they stop you you have no right if you want to sit at home they stop you they will ask you to go out you see you won't have right to do anything if you want to make a speech they stop you from making a speech they coerce people they intimidate and harass citizens so that is what they're doing they have people that can be described as non-state actors who are carrying out some evil uh, activities for them. So this government is government of mischievousness. They are full of corruption, evil, and that is the legacy they want to hand over to this coming administration. So that is why it is like war bet have betrayed Nigeria. It's like that time when the Satan have disobeyed God from heaven, and God said, Look, I'm sending you down to earth, and woe be unto the universe, or unto earth, woe be unto the earth, for Satan has come down unto them. So that can be likened to the situation Nigeria found itself now. It's not far from it. That woe be tired, Nigerians. This man is living. This man is coming. Mmma you kuna wonun go nyo wa. Mmma you kuna wonun go nyo wa. Ke won ishi ade han kon ke din kwa won ishi. That is what Nigerians are experiencing. Eight years has passed. The country has seen me. Hell, where they're living on earth. Another old fable man is coming. Age is against him. As at in just when you look at it, it's a man that has baggages. 
the same party, the same APC that have destroyed the country. So Clark is asking Buhari, what legacy are you going to leave behind? What legacy? He said, I advise President Buhari to obey court rulings, including that delivered on Namde Khan. And as he went up his tenure to re-examine his actions, as you went up your tenure, Buhari, re-examine your actions, go inside that your room, that single room where only you stays, where only you stays, ask yourself some certain questions. How far with me in my administration? How far have I gone in this administration? How far with me? You re-examine yourself. Ask yourself this question. If you can make amend, the first amendment is supposed to be to release Mazin and That is the first amendment you are supposed to do, President Buhari. You would not say we didn't tell you. You know all these things. So when you know the truth and you don't do it, it's a sin to you. You know that. So we are saying, President Buhari, for the last time, release Mazin Khan for posterity. For posterity. Those people who are advising you in the negative, they are deceiving you. And they have de deceived you for eight years. That's what the Bono Big Boy said. The Senate Committee Chairman on Army. Yes. He said it. They have deceived him for eight years. So that is why the man has not left any legacy. The people who surrounded him were looters, vultures, hawks. And today, they are still neighbor. Just two weeks, not up to two weeks, just barely one week, to this wedding here. Of a new government, Akane Bunala, they are scampering, they are searching everywhere to carry the last thing that is remaining in this country so that they will leave the country coffers empty. So, Nigeria, Ndono, Ndono, that is it. So, it's unfortunate that we have found ourselves in this contraption. And that's why we say every minute, every hour, join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. You know what you have advised to do? Like and share videos.